Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today I visit with the animals and gardens at Farmer Casey's Ranch, and I prepare farro salad with Jill. I love this dish, but first, the grand tour of the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater. Well, we are days away from the opening of the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater. And of course, Eric Ryan, who is in charge of the events, JAC Management, and you have been you were like Bill Graham. As I was <laughs> yeah, driving right. down here today, I'm thinking there's the Fillmore uh-huh. East, Fillmore West. <laughs> You've got, you know, Packard, Gavelli, and now, you The Youngstown know, Foundation Amphitheater. And yeah. all this entertainment is coming this summer to our region. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. We, I kind of was looking over the past years and the amount of, the amount of entertainment and shows that we have this year is second to none, really. Really, in, in, I mean, in our community's history, out no of the about ballpark, yeah. you have got such a lineup. Yeah. Now, what is the? Is it is forty five hundred, which is the capacity here? Yeah. Is that a good number? Forty eight and forty eight hundred is actually the capacity. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's a great number. You know, they, you know, a new trend in the industry is sort of these boutique amphitheaters. Um, obviously, we couldn't have a twenty thousand seat amphitheater. You know, that's just you know Crazy. too much for our community. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, but a boutique amphitheater. Basically, you know, the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater is really uh, a small version of all the major amphitheaters in the country. We have everything that they have and just uh, less seats, you know, better view. Well, you know, I mean, Warren Amphitheater is a great little venue. They do an awesome I mean, job. Is, yes, they do. When, I'm always impressed when I go there. Yeah. And have you learned from... Um, the acts that they've booked, you know, what works and yeah, what they, doesn't they, work. Yeah, they do a lot more tribute stuff, yeah. and we'll do some of that for sure. You know, we're going to have a lot of community events. You know, we, we hope to do six to nine, uh, like, major concerts a year here. Uh-huh. And then we really plan on having, hopefully, 10 to 20 community events down the road this year. We're now inside of the amphitheater, and it is entirely a lawn. So people are encouraged if you have to bring your own seats. Well, yeah, on the on the community shows you can bring your own chair. On the big national shows, if you look at our website, it'll tell you when you can and when you can't. But uh, on the national shows, we're gonna we have lawn chairs that are rentable, which are nine inches off the ground and won't stop people from behind More you like being able to see. Chair, More yeah. like a beach chair, yeah. So the pit in front. Yes. I'm calling it the pit, but it's actually the gold circle seating. Correct. Correct. Will they also be um, chairs for Yeah, that that'll area? be chairs. Those will be, that's all reserved seating down there on a majority of shows. If you bought a reserved seat, they're down there in what we call the orchestra. So that'll all be reserved, um, uh, you know, reserved seating. And then this will be, you know, general lawn seating like in any other amphitheater that you would go to. And like, what kind of information? should people know that are uh, attending these shows? Well, I think, you know, the main thing is you could park in the Cavelli Center parking lot. We have a beautiful promenade that yes. just walks right through the park, right up here to the entrance. Uh, you know, so park at Cavelli Center. The handicap parking is right off of Phelps in front. You'll pull right in here in the front of the amphitheater, and there's a bunch of handicap parking there. You know, no outside food and beverage, you know, no backpacks. The same thing that we do for all of our shows at Cavelli Center and, and kind have, of protocol you know, throughout everywhere. You know? There is a bar available for beverages. Yes. It's also a concession stand. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, really, you know, you got your main entrance here. We have plenty of restrooms here. We have the concession stand. That's our bar area over there, um, our cocktail bar, as we were calling it. And then you have the lawn here, and then over here you have our uh, Sweeney VIP lawn. Uh, where if you bought tickets to that, you get a chair. So the difference is in the <laughs> VIP lawn, you get a chair with it. Well, here we are on the stage. We're about to perform. And uh, Eric, what do you want to sing? I mean, I just look at it, it's, it's amazing, you know? I mean, there's just... It's, it's really just, impressive, you know? It's absolutely incredible. You go to Nautica, yeah. and you've got the Cuyahoga River, you know, that yeah. runs right through. And you'll see the barges sometimes. Yeah. 
and it's really like a cool backdrop. Right. But I think our backdrop yeah. at night with the lights on, and you know, amazing. of course, the beacon, the home savings and loan. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ohio Wine Building. The setting is great, you know, and to think that it's going to be situated in the middle of an urban park. I mean, green grass all the way around. The park has uh, 1.25 miles of trails through it, walking trails, you know? I really think this is just a win-win for our community. Yeah, I think and so I too. think, you know, anybody who, who doesn't think that this is going to really enhance right. our quality of life, uh, they're nuts. Right. I mean, we, you really need this as a source of pride yeah. to be from our community. You know, and the best part is there was no general fund money used for it, you know? There was no, right? I mean, it was what, you know, it was built with, you know, in-kind donations and stuff like that. So it's amazing, you know? I mean, you got people really stepped up to make this happen and it is going to be a gem. I mean, it's going to be the front door to the city of Youngstown forever. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Well, we are here at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery and I am with Rude the Dude. And let me tell you, there is no place I'd rather be than this patio. It is beautiful. Sunday fun day is every day. <laughs> well, yeah, Casey, winter's almost over. So the Thank patio you. season is coming. Uh, we have one of the biggest patios in Boardman. Uh, every Saturday, live entertainment. Other special events that we do, we, saw, we have a car cruise. Every Wednesday, taking up the whole lot. It's a great event, a lot of beautiful cars. Our farm to table menu. We still support local, local ingredients, local products, meat and cheese local. Uh, we also have our happy hour, Monday through Friday, half off all 41 craft beers on tap. And a lot of local yeah. beers there, too. Tons of local too. beer, tons of local beers. But it's just a great time, great time to come out and enjoy Magic Tree. The living is easy at the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Cheers. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Willem is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Woolham. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolham, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. r and Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at r and Paint. Well, I'm sure you've driven down Route hey, 422 baby. in hey, Coitsville. Baby. And you've seen Casey's Farm here uh, run by Purple Cat. And I've been meaning to stop for many years and I finally got out here and it's unbelievable what is out here. I mean, this is a menagerie of animals and gardening and Jimmy, I just can't believe the activity going on out here. Oh, thanks, thanks. How many acres? Uh, 53 acres total. And what was your vision, what, 10 years ago when you started this? Um, it really was my wife's vision, Jill P. Um, she always says the best days of her life were spent at Camp Fitch, which yeah. have nothing to do with me. But um, she really had the vision of making it a camp. Um, I think that that's in our future, having cabins and that kind of thing. 
But uh, really, you know, our immediate need was more of a day program for our adults, finding ways to pay our adults with disabilities. Um, we both love animals. We have a lot of staff that love animals. Um, but it was just a matter of learning, as you alluded to earlier, learning about them and what creatures we could get and, you know, what creatures our folks would be safe around and taken care of. So and the so, alpacas are pretty safe? Yes, They're pretty safe. easy going? Uh, they are just, they're, they're just so gentle. They're the gentlest creatures you'd ever want to meet. Okay, so now, what is this? This is a bantam silky. It looks like it has fur versus feathers. And uh, she was a donation and, um, we haven't figured out. She has been picked on by her peers, so uh, you know there really is the pecking order. There's a, there's do that. oh that yeah, there's pecking the pecking order, order. Is true. and eventually she'll fall in somewhere along the lines. But we wanted to make sure because she's prized. She's pretty special, so we're. She's a beautiful bird. Yeah, she's been a little, you know, segregated here for a while. And she yeah. uh, ate, lays eggs too. Yes, yes. So there's a cross on. Ray. Yeah, both Blaze and Ray have it. They're father and son, so you can you can see it more evidently on uh, Ray here. But you can see how it comes down over his shoulders and haunches there. And the donkeys that bear this cross, they say, are descendants of the donkey that carried Jesus. That's right. That's what they say. The that if you, donkeys have, especially miniature donkeys, if they have the cross on their back, that they are descendants of the donkey that carried Jesus back in the day, so. Now they also have, what, the uh, store. Hmm. That's right, the store is open now. And a neighbor of mine brought this purple cat jalapeno jelly over and over cream cheese. You I, said goat cheese, I've never tried I goat cheese. And that's more cheese. of our theme here, so and I gotta hit I that up. I love it, this is a must buy purchase. Mm -hmm. And then strawberries, turnips, all of this is grown on the property. I mean, my scapes aren't up yet, so I got a couple <laughs> bundles of garlic scapes, and your strawberries are so sweet. Well, thank you. We, um, we're, we're, we're partnering with Birdfish Brewery. We're going to grow lots of strawberries and blueberries for them. As much as we can grow, they want to purchase off of us. And they're going to make been like already, a sour with They're, they're going to make a purple cat uh, yeah. beer of some sort. Um, but they also bought a lot of honey off of us too for their meads and for those types of things. So they're expanding. They've really yeah, expanded. Yeah, and they've been. I don't know there. why they have really adopted us and anything we can produce for them, the more the better. They are all over us all the time. We we already get our we get spent grains um, from noble creature and from uh, birdfish. Oh, to feed the uh, animals. Either to feed the animals or for our composting. Nothing composts better than those spent grains. I mean, they're literally smoking when we get them. And then you have a woodworking shop. Yeah, that was um, a donation from the Kellogg family. Dave Kellogg was his name. Dave passed away and his passion was woodworking. And so he had all of this beautiful equipment, like top of the line equipment. And uh, he had written in his will that he didn't want to give that to the family. He was providing for them in other ways, um, but he wanted to find some organization that would use the woodworking. And so we were that, we received that. So we've got two sitting on eggs right now, two of the female peacocks. And what's the hatch time? Um, five weeks. I mean, so she's been on the close three, you know, uh, I don't know, it just depends. I, I don't know when she exactly started. I, I'd say five, six weeks is where we're, we're looking at here, so. And you might have two or three babies out of this. That would be great, that would be great. We're looking for some females for the, the bachelors over here. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't put the babies in with them, but hopefully that'll help. But you know, peacocks, you'd be surprised. You can find them, you know, they're not everywhere, but you can find them at different bird shows or you know, markets, I mean, they really are like beautiful, that. and I can't believe that they're good in the winter. You know, yeah, they're fine, fine in the winter. winter. Yeah. All right, Larry is the bee man, and Melissa and Pete are the uh, queen and king bees. And this, how long is this operation? Have you had the bees out here? We just started this last year, and it was a very successful year. Uh, we lost a few hives over the winter, but we're building back, and we should be. Uh, up to full force here in another couple of weeks. So all the honey that is sold here in the store is yes. from these hives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What is your favorite thing to do out here? I Mo just help with the bees. Help with yeah, the bees. I mean, my, my favorite thing is just being here. <laughs> the hoop house has the turnips that you saw earlier. It does. Purple beans. 
the strawberries are up there, mm -hmm. and peppers, and this is where we get the pepper for our, that incredible pepper jelly. Yeah, we grow a ton of peppers, yes. And where did you get that recipe? Um, that's a, just uh, good friends of ours. Um, our secret recipe, uh, Meg P and uh, Mark Calvaruso, we call Calvi. Yeah. That was their, you know, his well, Italian that was... recipe that uh, we've kind of pirated or they've shared with us. And so they help us still with it to this day with the production. They're vital to us. Does this lake have a name? Hmm. Um, no, I mean, just our Farmer Casey's Lake. Um, but we, we get a lot of use. We fish just about every day. We boat on it. Um, we try to what keep it What kind of fish game. are in here? Um, we've been stocking it. Um, obviously, there's a lot of bluegill naturally, but we've been stocking it with bass and crappie. You know, the old model for working with adults with developmental disabilities was everybody has to be in one room, eyes on at all times. But there's dignity of risk. We all take risks in our exactly, lives. Exactly, yeah. You know, Richie Rich is a good example. He was unhappy being in a sheltered workshop where he was locked into a building. They said he was had all kinds of, you know, behavioral issues. None here. You know, because he's outside, he's doing what he wants to do. Yeah, you're and sometimes, some kids are sometimes more Sometimes we don't know where he is because <laughs> he's down in the barn, you know, working on a bike. But that's, he's not into mischief, he's working on a bike and that's what he wants to do. And, you know, we're all adults, that's what we want in our, our days. We want to have productive days where we're, we're in control of some things. Exactly. So we allow our folks, you know, a lot of that freedom here, which they don't get in a lot of different programs. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. There's a new standard in assisted living. One that combines comfort, luxury, convenience, and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping, and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Selling engagement rings never gets old. It's love. It's a huge untaking because they're going to wear that ring probably forever, but if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime, and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Well, it took some bribery, but I finally got my girlfriend, uh, Jill Landau, into my kitchen. Hello. She prepared this farro salad for a party a few weeks ago, and I've been making it consistently every week. I absolutely <laughs> love this recipe. You know, I cook once, and <laughs> everybody's so shocked. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you really hit it out of the ballpark with this one. Thank you. You know, it, it could be vegetarian. Uh, it's extremely healthy. Yes, it is. It is my first introduction to farro. Oh, okay. Which is a really nice grain. It's got a nutty texture. It's filling. And let's talk about um, now our nutritional okay. benefits from well, this. Well, I know that one half cup of farro has seven grains, is, excuse me, seven grams of protein. Yes. So it's, it's really healthful for you. Less than 100 calories. Okay. in that cup. Sounds right. And it also has, I have notes, magnesium, <laughs> niacin, zinc, and iron. And it's loaded with antioxidants. Yes. And of course a lot of fiber. Right. So it's really good to get you going. <laughs> and you're just gonna love this. And it's filling. You know, it really expands. And we've tweaked the recipe that you found. Yes. I found the recipe um, in Jessica Seinfeld's cookbook called Food Swings mm -hmm. and we kind of changed it up a little bit to you know give it a little bit of a well to personalize it because there's certain yeah. flavors that I thought were missing and I think you know you added the onion and I love that green onion addition yeah um, I've added this um, my new herb called Lovage and I had this growing in my garden my friend gave me the plant and I started using it and it's very um, it's warm and has a little bit of spice and it has a very strong celery taste. They don't really sell this in the stores, but if you get the stock from um, like celery, celery and cut the leaves, you it can will serve it. that. And then instead of boiling my um, farro in water, I like a stock. I think that's a great idea. You know, this yeah. is chicken stock, but if you want to go total vegetarian, you can use vegetable stock or even beef stock. But it really, um, I think it just adds another dimension to the flavors. And I, I cannot wait to share this with everyone. And let's I appreciate go. you coming in. So let's go over this recipe list. <laughs> and uh, we'll get you all the ingredients and then we'll start making Jill's farro salad. For this recipe, you'll need one cup of farro, three cups of water, chicken or vegetable stock, one head of broccoli, thinly sliced, six radishes, halved and thinly sliced, two green onions chopped fine, white and green parts included, one half cup basil leaves cut into ribbons, one quarter cup flat leaf parsley chopped, one quarter cup lovage chopped fine, one chunk of Parmesan cheese, Dressing, you'll need one quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. So get a fairly large dish right. to mix this. And we just pulled this off of the stove. Right, you cook the farro for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's soft. And then you just, you drain it and you run some cold water out over it. So to shock it, so right, it's nice. So you don't have to wait um, for it to cool. Okay, so right. we'll start with the base of the farro. Right, we're gonna add the chopped broccoli, which you chop the stems also, right? Really, yes. really thin. Really thin, if you have a mandolin, but look, you know, I think a lot of people waste that, but look at that, as and it gives it a nice crunch. Right, as long as they're really thin, you can use them. And then the, the six radishes. Love that, love the radishes. And this is such, it's a crunchy salad. It really is good. And then I would add the green onion, and then the herbs. The basil's nice, love parsley, and you're gonna love my lovage. I certainly <laughs> hope so. <laughs> okay, and then you mix it, and are you gonna make, make the dressing? I am gonna make the dressing. All it is, is, you know, about third to a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. We'll get that going here. We'll add the lemon juice and then salt and pepper. You know, salt is very, very important here. And then fresh ground pepper. I mean, that's it. It's a very easy vinaigrette. And I usually wait to put the chunked Parmesan cheese on after the dressing. Now, I also like, you know, the Locatella, the um, Romano cheese. So there we go. Blend it well. 
and we're just gonna pour the whole thing over it. Great. Okay. And I do think it's good if you let it sit for a few hours in uh, the fridge. I agree. You know, because then the, the flavors really meld together. But I mean, look at what a beautiful, healthy salad that is. And it's That's loaded it. with taste. Well, Jill, for the pairing, I know you're a fan of the kava. Yes, I am. And you know, bubbly goes with absolutely everything. And I don't think Indeed. you've tried this one. No, I haven't. It's from uh, Cordonu, and it is called Anna. And they also make a pink, but this is a Blanc de Blanc. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you fun. for coming you for and making me. this. Mm. It is so light and refreshing, just like your salad. Yes. So let's give it a try. What okay. do you think? You haven't had it with the stock yet, have you? No, it's really good. Mm. And the lavage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was fighting you on that. I'm not sure. No, I think you added too much, but it really is good. Make this once, and honestly, even though it is so healthy, everybody's gonna love it. It really is delicious. So for the recipe, just go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com, and look for Jill's Faro Faro, not sure of that proper pronunciation, <laughs> either. salad, and you'll find it right there. I really, really thank you. Thanks. You're gonna love it. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.